Hi, today we're just going to give a quick run through the GMTO 4 channel scope using the ATIS Pro branded software. The ATIS Pro branded software is an optional extra that you can add to this scope. Uh, the software that comes with the scope as standard is the generic, generic software which has over 250 component tests with over 800 diagnostic measurements. So the, the brand specific scope then is a huge advantage because it's giving you specific readings from the real vehicle. Um, a huge range of makes and models listed in the software. Uh, today we're showing it on a 2005 feet scoot or 2 litre JTD. So we'll just go in here. Uh, so select the engine size, or we'll start, double click here. So now it opens it up um, here. Then we have the wiring diagram for the engine electronics. So you have diagram one, diagram two, over here then we have the we have the all the different components so you can see blue is original from this vehicle or from a vehicle with a similar similar system which maybe that is say some other model uh, Fiat or Peugeot or Citroen will have the same engine so the samples could have been taken from that but it will be the same the same system um, then the green is our generic scope so these will be generic sample waveforms and information so uh, here then, for example, we'll go to air mass sensor. So this is blue, so it's vehicle, vehicle specific. So here then we have a, a, a real picture of the, the type of connection on the airflow meter, um, showing you where to connect. So for example, if we select measurement signal, it's telling us channel one, black to the ground, red to pin five. Or if we move along to any of the other measurements so we have measurement power supply one power supply two so we'll go power supply one is telling you connect here power supply two going to pin six so this is very useful because you're looking at a real 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 picture of that particular sensor on that vehicle um, also then when when we click on any of these options here when we launch the scope then the scope will be will be preset for 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 that measurement so for example, if we go measurement signal, um, also, sorry, I forgot to mention, if you click here, you have uh, some technical information about air mass sensors, how they work, um, various other information. You click here, then there's information about the, the test we're going to perform and, and in, in instructions and other information. So we'll go here then and uh, it's launching the scope. So you can see this is a sample waveform then that they have taken from from this type of vehicle. So you can show that you can see here it's at idle. We have just in or around two volts. Brought it up to three thousand revs. We have near enough four volts. And this is where they let off the throttle and give it a few a few blips of the throttle. So you can see here it peaked up. I have about four point two volts. Um, so this is a reference, a known good reference waveform. Uh, we can make this visible or invisible if we don't want to be viewing it when we're looking at our own our own one. Um, so when we come in here, the scope is already preset on the voltage scale, time base. Um, of course, you can tweak settings yourself, but generally with the brand specific brand specific software, there's no need. But um, if you wish, you can drag, pull in other channels, vary time base, do do kind of anything you want in here. Um, so we'll connect up to this the air mass sensor signal wire. <coughs> so the signal wire was on pin five. So we count back on uh, pin one. It starts here. We, uh, it's written underneath the plug. We already checked it. So one, two, three, four, five. So we're just going to go in with the back probes. Um, and then uh, black onto the ground. So now um, one uh, great feature on this scope is there's a connection test. Uh, so we can make sure that we're connected correctly. If we press C, uh, C on the keyboard or go here, we can launch the connection test. Um, all the all the functions on the scope can you can either click on them or sorry most of the functions here you can either click on them or there's also loads of different keyboard shortcuts 
uh, so you can see here we're not using channel two three or four so these are red and channel one we must be connected correctly because it's coming up green uh, if we slide it back out a little bit you can see it's gone to red and so we can close out this and now we press st uh, start here or just a s on the keyboard and then we'll just start up the engine See here now we have starting engine, this is the idle, our reading is actually a little bit higher than his, his sample one. Here then he started to accelerate over a little bit. And just restart that again, it's just a little bit slow, getting getting the acceleration done, just reload. So if, uh, if you do anything wrong or you want to start again, you just hit reload. I'll bring it up to about 3000 rev. Give it a few. Mm, pause the scope. So at 3000 revs, we're bang on what the reading is expected. Uh, this is where we lay off the throttle, and this is where we give it a, a sharp acceleration. And we're actually even a, a little bit higher than the, than the sample one. So this is a very good air mass sensor reading. But bear in mind if this is wrong, there's lots of different things you can expect the air mass sensor out, output. Um, so if, if you're having a, a, a low voltage here, or, or, or if it's not given a, a waveform similar to the sample, um, there's loads of other things that can cause this, so you need to check all these before you fully condemn the air mass sensor. Um, so we saw it how it is. Um, We'll just go into some other tests here. We'll go to a common rail injector. Again, same situation, connection diagram. Sorry, just switch off the engineer for a second. Connection diagram, again we have measurement continuous, measurement signal, measurement signal two, which is uh, checking with the amps clamp. Uh, measurement resistance signal so here then again we can click on the picture we have some information um, this is a Bosch uh, coil type common rail injector we're testing on this vehicle so it's the common rail injector injects voltage combustion the ECU generates a voltage of around 80 volts to open, in, open the valve in the injector so you can read through this there's loads of different information here um, the injector is, what saying is pulsed on both sides so when you're when you're doing this measurement, you have to be connected to uh, bo to both pins on the injector to get a full to get a full picture of the waveform to see what's happening. So again, there's some good information here. Uh, so this is just giving you additional measurement information. So we'll go here then to launch the scope. Again, uh, voltage scale is set, time base is set, and the important one here, the trigger is already preset for us as well. Um, if you're not familiar with using scopes, it can be a bit fiddly to get the trigger set up properly to capture something like this. Um, but again, also you can tweak these settings wherever you like, but generally they'll be they'll be bang on. Right, so we'll go connect to the we'll connect up. To need two back probes for this. Where did I leave here? So. Pin one is on the on the right. So go red in here. 
Uh, if you connect it in correctly, there's no 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 big issue. So now we're connected up. Um, and start up the engine. Press, press start. So here we go. Um, so we have our sample here and our signal. Again, switch on and off the sample. And ours is slightly different, but this can be affected by if they took the measurement at a different temperature than what we are checking it at. But it's, um, it's, 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 it's more or less identical. So um, we turn off this a better look at it. So we have our, um, so you can see where it's pulse positive up, up to peaking at 80 volts. Um, this is the, the opening phase. You can see here where it's, it's current. Because the injector is very low resistance, it's current limited here. Pulse on and off very quickly to limit the current flow through it. And this is the negative peak when it closes. Um, and you can pause this, uh, use your cursors to check the time, open time of the injector. Um, see when we accelerate. So you can see here when we accelerate with the, the pilot injection it will disappear when we get to a certain level. Uh, on this vehicle it only has two different two different phases of injection but on some more modern cars you can have up to five and in some cases more depending on the system. Um, but this one only has two so you see where the, the pilot injection uh, goes away when we when we accelerate so and it's a good test then we can pause the scope we can zoom in on the signal there's many different things here we can we can do and add comments move the comment around wherever you want uh, draw a line to a particular part of the signal and add in a note then here and save it uh, so you can save your own your own information or you're going to print it off to show it to the customer. And we'll just switch off. Um, so that's about it today. Um, I said keep an eye on our YouTube channel and on our website for other videos on this. Uh, we'll be doing some more. This is just a brief run through on one vehicle. So the, we'll be doing a hundred more vehicles in, in the coming videos. Thanks, bye.